I'm glad you could join us. Go ahead and stab the like button and stick around for the next untold story. In the shadowed underbelly of Vienna, a creature of ancient power and terrifying grace fled through the winding catacombs, a silver wound burning in its side, a testament to the encounter with Damien Black, the vampire hunter renowned for his lethal prowess. This vampire, known as Lucian, was once a nobleman in the court of Emperor Leopold I, turned into a creature of the night by a wandering Carpathian vampire who had seen potential in his ruthless ambition and cold intelligence. Now, centuries later, Lucian found himself a hunted prey, an irony not lost on him as he navigated the dark corridors beneath the city. The catacombs were a sanctuary, but also a prison, the stone walls echoing with the whispers of the dead and the memories of his long, blood-soaked existence. Lucian moved with silent urgency, the pain of his wound a mere annoyance compared to the burning rage within him. Damien had come close, too close, and the fear of final death, a concept he had dismissed through the ages, now gnawed at him with newfound claws. Emerging from the catacombs at a forgotten exit, Lucian found himself in an old part of the city where the modern lights of Vienna rarely penetrated. Here, in the darkness, he could heal and plan his revenge. He sought refuge in an abandoned mansion, its once lavish halls now draped in cobwebs and dust, a fitting haven for a creature like him. As he settled in the shadows of the mansion, Lucien contemplated his next move. He needed to recover, to gather strength, but more importantly, he needed allies. The vampire community in Vienna was scattered, secretive, and cautious. Traits that had preserved them, but also isolated them. Lucien had to unite them, to ignite the fires of war against the hunters who grew bolder with each passing night. Days turned into nights as Lucien sent out his calls, whispers in the dark, messages carried by loyal rats and bats, creatures as much a part of the night as he was. One by one, vampires emerged from their hiding places, drawn to Lucian's charisma and his promise of vengeance against Damien Black and his ilk. Among these vampires was Isabella, a young vampire turned during the chaos of World War II. Her ferocity and cunning had kept her alive when many others had fallen, and her hatred for hunters was personal. Her creator had been slain by one. Isabella met with Lucien in the dim light of the mansion's grand hall, her eyes reflecting the flicker of the candles. Why should we follow you? She challenged, her voice echoing slightly in the vast room. What can you do that we have not tried before? Lucien's gaze was steady, his voice compelling. Together we are stronger, he said. Alone we are picked off, one by one. Damien Black is just the beginning. More will come. We need to strike first, strike hard, and eradicate this threat. Isabella considered his words, her mind racing with possibilities and the sweet taste of revenge. Slowly, a smile spread across her face, a predator sensing the hunt. Then let us plan, she said, stepping closer. Let us bring a war to the hunters they will never forget. As the conspirators gathered around an ancient table, maps and plans spread out before them. The mansion seemed to come alive with the rustling of old ghosts and the whispered promises of a battle yet to come. The story of Lucian, the vampire nobleman turned hunted prey, was far from over. In the heart of Vienna, a new chapter was beginning, one that would be written in blood and shadow. As Lucian and Isabella strategized late into the night, the air in the mansion thickened with a tense anticipation. They pored over maps of Vienna, identifying key locations where hunters were known to congregate and where vampire activity had been sighted. Their plan was to strike swiftly and silently, targeting the hunters where they least expected. Lucian's leadership rallied the vampires, his charisma and ancient wisdom instilling a sense of unity that had been absent for centuries. He spoke of the old ways, of powers and pacts forgotten by the modern vampire clans, inspiring his followers with tales of the knight's dominion over the earth. As the group's confidence swelled, so did their ranks. Word spread through the underground channels of the vampire community, drawing even the most reclusive creatures out of their shadows. Within days, Lucian's assembly had grown into a formidable force. However, the urgency of their mission was underscored by news brought by a young vampire, Elena, who had narrowly escaped a hunter's trap. Her news of advanced weapons and coordinated movements 
indicated that the hunters were organizing more effectively than ever under Damien Black's influence. This information injected a new layer of urgency into their preparations. Lucian and Isabella worked tirelessly, refining their tactics and preparing their followers for the realities of the conflict ahead. They trained in the mansion's sprawling cellar, practicing combat techniques and mastering the art of stealth. Nightly, they ventured into the city in small groups, testing their strategies and marking territories, all while avoiding the prying eyes of the city's human inhabitants. Meanwhile, Damien Black continued his relentless pursuit, his investigations leading him closer to the heart of the vampire resurgence. His presence in Vienna stirred the pot further, his encounters with vampires becoming more frequent and more dangerous. Each skirmish provided him with more clues, tightening the noose around Lucian's nascent army. One evening, as Lucian and Isabella returned from a scouting mission, they found the mansion under surveillance. Damien had discovered their lair. The shadows around the building teemed with the subtle movements of hunters waiting in ambush. Lucian's eyes narrowed as he assessed the situation. The battle to come had arrived sooner than expected, and it was now a fight not just for dominance, but for survival. Isabella, sensing the shift in Lucian's demeanor, touched his arm lightly. This is it then, she whispered, her voice a mix of excitement and apprehension. Lucian nodded, a grim resolve settling over his features. This is it. We strike now, or we perish. Gathering their forces, Lucian led them from the shadows, the vampires emerging into the moonlit night with a fierce, silent determination. The air crackled with the imminent clash of ancient foes, the night alive with the thrill of the hunt and the terror of the hunted. As they prepared to engage, Lucian stood at the forefront, Isabella at his side. He raised his hand, signaling his followers to halt. In a voice that carried across the cool night air, he called out to Damien, challenging him to face him directly. Damien Black! He shouted into the darkness. Come forth and end this. Tonight we settle the old scores between our kind. The tension hung thick in the air as they awaited Damien's response. The outcome of this confrontation uncertain but inevitably bloody. The story of Lucian, the vampire nobleman, was far from over. Instead, it teetered on the brink of a new era, either of resurgence or of ruin as the night itself held its breath, waiting for the clash of predator against predator in the dark heart of Vienna. The standoff lingered in the chilly night air, the tension palpable as both sides braced for what seemed an inevitable confrontation. Lucian stood poised, his figure a blend of regal menace and battle-hardened warrior, with Isabella's fierce gaze scanning the shadows for any sign of movement. The other vampires, a mix of ancient beings and newer blood, stood ready behind their leaders, their eyes reflecting the moonlight with a supernatural glow. Minutes stretched into an eternity, until finally, a figure stepped out from the darkness. Damien Black, clad in a long, dark coat, moved forward with a confident stride, his presence commanding. He was alone, a solitary hunter facing a legion of the night's children. His eyes, intense and unyielding, met Lucian's across the distance. Lucian! Damien called out, his voice carrying a steely calm that contrasted sharply with the charged silence. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed for your people. You know I will not stop. Surrender now, and I promise a swift end. Lucien's laugh, cold and humorless, sliced through the tension. You offer death as a mercy. We offer life as a victory. We will not bow to you, Hunter. Not tonight. Not ever. With a nod from Lucian, the vampires surged forward, a silent, deadly wave crashing toward Damien. But Damien was prepared. From his coat, he produced a set of small, intricately carved flasks filled with holy water and a crucifix that glowed with a faint, ethereal light. He threw the flasks at the ground before him, creating a barrier that sizzled and smoked upon contact with the vampire's flesh. The front line recoiled, hissing in pain as the holy water scorched them, slowing their advance but not stopping it. Damien then drew a long, gleaming sword from his side, its blade etched with runes and blessed by rites older than the city itself. The battle erupted in earnest, the night filled with the clash of steel, the hiss of burning flesh, and the cries of the fallen. Lucian and Isabella fought side by side, their movements a deadly dance of agility and power. Damien met them strike for strike, his experience as a hunter making him a formidable opponent. 
As they fought, the ground around them became littered with the wounded and the dead, the air thick with the smell of blood and burnt flesh. The fight was brutal, each side taking heavy losses but neither willing to yield. In the midst of the chaos, Lucian spotted an opening. With a powerful thrust, he managed to wound Damien, the blade slicing through the hunter's side. Damien staggered, pain flashing across his features, but his determination did not waver. He parried Lucien's neck strike and countered with a swift, upward slash that caught Lucien off guard, wounding him near the shoulder. Both leaders, now bloodied and weary, locked eyes, understanding that this duel could very well determine the fate of their kind. Around them, the fight continued, but the outcome hinged on their next moves. The story of Lucian and Damien, vampire and hunter, was more than a personal vendetta. It was a battle for survival, a clash of two worlds irreconcilably at odds. As they circled each other, calculating, the dawn began to creep upon the horizon, promising an end to the darkness, but not to the conflict that thrived within it. The fate of Vienna's night children hung in the balance, the city itself holding its breath, awaiting the outcome of this ancient feud. As the first faint light of dawn tinted the eastern sky, the combatants' shadows lengthened, casting grotesque shapes across the blood-stained cobblestones. Lucien and Damien, both nursing injuries that would have felled lesser beings, continued their deadly dance, each aware that the coming sunlight would play a crucial role in their duel's outcome. The surrounding battle waned as other vampires, sensing the approach of dawn, grew increasingly desperate. Some attempted to retreat to the shadows, while others, fueled by rage and fear, launched themselves with reckless abandon at Damien, only to be cut down by his skilled blade work. Lucian, feeling the weakness from his wound and the pull of the impending daylight, knew he needed to end this quickly. He glanced towards Isabella, who was holding her own against two of Damien's lieutenants. Their eyes met briefly, sharing an unspoken plan formed from years of fighting together. With a nod, Isabella disengaged from her foes and started chanting in an ancient tongue, her voice rising over the clamor of battle. The air around Damien began to shimmer slightly, an almost imperceptible distortion that he noticed too late. The ground beneath him trembled, and vines, twisted and thorn-laden, erupted from the cracks, winding around his legs and arms, pulling him down to his knees. Seizing the moment, Lucian advanced, his sword aimed at Damien's exposed neck. But Damien, ever the skilled hunter, wasn't incapacitated yet. With a mighty effort, he tore one arm free, throwing a vial of holy water straight at Lucian's face. The glass shattered against Lucian's cheek, the sacred liquid burning his skin, forcing him back with a pained hiss. Damien struggled to free himself from the remaining vines, his movements hindered, his breathing heavy. Around them, the battle dwindled as the vampires, sensing the imminent sunrise, fled to the underground, their survival instincts overpowering their loyalty to the fight. Now largely alone on the battlefield, Lucien and Damien faced each other, both exhausted, both damaged, but neither willing to concede. As the light grew stronger, Lucien's skin began to smoke slightly, the first warning of the sun's lethal power to his kind. Damien noticed this and smiled grimly, knowing the sunrise might succeed where he could fail. Lucien, aware of his perilous situation, glanced upward, calculating the minutes he might have left. He needed to finish this quickly or retreat to the shadows to survive. The battle of wills and weapons continued, now not just a fight for supremacy, but a race against time. Damien, exploiting Lucian's divided attention, managed to cut through the vines and regain his footing. He lunged forward, driving Lucian back towards the patch of sunlight that had just touched the edge of the square. Lucian dodged, his back dangerously close to the light, his every move causing him excruciating pain as the sun's rays burned his ancient flesh. As they maneuvered and fainted, the sun's rays crept closer, promising a fiery end to the vampire lord. Lucien, desperate and cornered, launched one final frenzied attack, his sword aimed directly at Damien's heart. The outcome of this encounter, poised on the knife edge of daybreak, would seal the fates of both hunter and hunted, the resolution echoing through the annals of Vienna's hidden world. This battle, a culmination of centuries-old enmity, and the personal vendettas of a knight's survivors promised to end in either triumph or tragedy as the city awoke, oblivious to the ancient drama concluding beneath its waking gaze. 
As Lucian's blade thrust forward, aiming for a mortal blow, Damien sidestepped deftly, the sun now fully cresting the horizon and spilling light into every shadowed refuge. Lucian, caught in the path of the rising sun, cried out as his skin began to blister and smoke, the agony evident in his contorted features. Damien, seizing the moment, pushed Lucian further into the sunlight, where the vampire's ancient flesh could not withstand the purifying blaze. Lucian, desperate and burning, grasped Damien in a last attempt to pull the hunter into death with him. His hands, charred and disintegrating, clawed at Damien's coat, pulling him close into a death embrace. Damien struggled against the weakening grip, his face inches from Lucian's, which was now a horrifying mask of melting flesh and bared fangs. In Lucian's eyes, there was no surrender, only the burning fury of a dying beast. Damien, his own face set in grim determination, managed to free one hand and with a swift motion, drove a wooden stake through Lucian's heart. Lucian's scream pierced the morning air, a sound so filled with ancient sorrow and rage that it echoed off the buildings, waking the nearby residents. His body, impaled and exposed to the sunlight, burst into flames, turning quickly to ash before the wind swept him away, leaving only the charred remnants of a once formidable predator. Damien staggered back, breathing heavily, his body and soul both scarred from the encounter. As he looked around, the square was empty, the other vampires long gone to their hidden dens, and the humans not yet out in the streets. He was alone with the echoes of the battle. The terror of the night's events weighed heavily on him as the sun fully rose, casting light on the desolation of the square. Damien knew that this victory, though hard won, was only temporary. The vampire community would eventually regroup, another would take Lucian's place, and the hunt would begin anew. Haunted by the final scream of Lucian, Damien walked away from the scene, his silhouette a lone figure against the backdrop of an awakening city. Behind him, the first citizens of Vienna began to emerge, oblivious to the supernatural war that had raged through their city. They noticed neither the tension in the air nor the faint scent of burnt ash that lingered. Damien's mind was filled with a foreboding sense of continuation, a knowledge that his fight was far from over and that the night would always hold horrors waiting to be faced. As the normalcy of day took over, the terrifying reality of what lurked in the darkness remained, hidden just out of sight, always ready to emerge once the sun set again. Thank you for listening. Now watch this video, 